Galaxy Car Doc. I got a treat for y'all today. Nice Honda Civic, Honda Accord. Guys, I don't know what people think I am. I'm gonna be nice. Yeah, I'm gonna be nice. I'm pretty sure it don't start, so got the NoCo jump box ready because I feel like this thing been sitting under a tree. Hey, it has a K24 in it, so that's a good thing. Um, This patient is overheating, I believe, and they think they need an engine, so I'm going to verify that and see what's going on. Yeah, this battery is dead. It's not even registering any voltage. Now, let's see if this thing will even start. It's like... Yuck. Okay. Being nice, Alex. I'm being nice. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. I'm being nice. Gotta be nice. Alright. Let's see. How many miles you got? Huh. Mileage is... Come on, focus. Pretty decent. Has fuel. The uh, key light is flashing so it is not gonna start okay neon key i think we just may have a key issue um just like i mentioned if that key light is flashing like that this car is not gonna start so I wanted to they just misdiagnose their car and um, say they need an engine or a salvage yard. Be nice. All right, let me go grab my big boy scanner because I'm going to try to relearn that key to this. I guess you can call this a car. All right, be back. Back in the Honda court with my big boy. Let's see. Like I mentioned before, the key light is flashing. That indicates a security problem and the vehicle will not start with that light blinking like that. So let's take a look. Now this scanner is not a key type scanner, but it can do certain keys. Um, let's look at all the codes. Nothing is popping out to me. Look, power window master switch. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. All right. Seat heater. I don't even think this vehicle. Oh, they're talking about the master switch. Nope, nope, nope. And... The immobilizer right here. If I click on that, no fault codes. And this is the key section of everything. Um, I'm just going to go in it. Third immobilizer, I guess. Okay. Um, guys, I don't really do security systems. I'm probably going to let my key guy come out and take care of this one. Um, if it's a key issue, I'm not sure, but I could do the PCM, but I'm not going to do that. Get out of that. No. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to this, guys. So I'm going to call my key guy and I will cut back in and let him do his thing and show you guys and we'll go from there because I'm not going to get anywhere with this. Just because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm an engine guy, not a security guy. All right, see you in a little bit. All righty, good people. The key guy just left and I just fired it up. She ran, but she has like crap. Look at all this smoke. I don't know if you can see that. Man, like this thing is burning oil and putting and looks like how it runs <laughs> so I don't know come on 
finish up my diagnostic on it. They probably just got to run because I think he said this car had been down, you know, been down and out about a couple of months. Um, his story was he was driving the car. I turned the camera around so y'all can see me. Put a face on the speech. You know, I want to be personal and talk to y'all personally. No. <laughs> Anywho. The story was um, his wife was driving the vehicle. Or somebody was driving the vehicle. And they brought it home, cut it off, and tried to crank it back up. It just was turning over. So I spoke with the customer this morning. And, you know, he's he's trying to save money. I think he's got a lot of issues going on health-related-wise. Um, so he's like, hey, if the key don't work, you know, what what will we do? Do I get... Do I have to pay? I'm like, ah, it's a third party, so I wouldn't know what to tell you. So, but I do know we have to start there, and I do know it has a key issue. Um, so the key guy came out. He said it was a transponder in the key. So put a new transponder in, programmed everything, and she's running. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish letting it run, make sure it ain't overheating, and I'll be right back. It looks like it's clear enough. I was discussing to one of my techs that when the engine sits up a while, I think it's been sitting up for a very long time. Just look at the tree sap on the windshield and just everywhere. Um, the seals are kind of get dry and and on the initial startup, they'll just be blowing oil by and burning it real bad. But after they run, they'll soften up. Yeah, we're clearing up big time because it was just smoking like crazy. Um, now, I must say, on an already worn out engine, you know, I don't know the history on this engine, but when it sits, first of all, engines don't like to sit. They like to be ran. And, you know, work oil through the system and keep everything lubricated. When stuff sits, moisture get up in there and it's just, ah, it gets bad. <laughs> All righty, we're gonna continue letting it run and see what happens. Here's the converted good people. Just took it down the street, make sure the transmission was shifting good. Um, this is what I found just to get this car back on the road because I do think this guy is on a heavy budget. I recommend a intake boot because it is torn. It has a hole right in it. Um, it looked like somebody, when they was diagnosing this stuff, they took the screws out of the mass airflow sensor and has a crack in the radiator. Check that out. Can you see it? Can you see it? I'm going to zoom in. Uh, yeah, you can see it. Little hairline crack there. Um, after you get those things, he can put this car back on the road. The tires, eh, they're decent. All right, like you have a new one back here. Let's see. Yeah, he have two new ones in the back. So he has one, oh, one tire that kind of needs to be replaced. But other than that, <laughs> it's a Honda. And what I was mentioning earlier, the smoke did go away uh, after the seals kind of reseated themselves and softened back up. Um, they stopped smoking. Those seals, for those who may want to know, um, the valve stem seals could be the cause. Uh, the piston ring, oil control rings, they probably had to seat back in place. And yeah, no blown head gasket. And that, that's why it pays to have someone diagnose this car because he was getting ready to put an engine in it. Um, I could have easily sold this guy an engine, um, you know, if I was a shady person. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video of me diagnosing. Guys, give this car a nickname. Try to be nice. <laughs> I'm gonna be nice. I'm not saying nothing about it. But hey, it's a Honda and it runs surprisingly well. Uh, but on that note, 
Guys, I love you. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button to show your favorite mechanic some support. That keeps me motivated to keep pushing out this content for you guys. Alice the Car Doctor out. See you guys on the next video.